mid race, electric finish, and we already have a two time winner in the Cup Series this season. Wow. What's up, guys? It's me on. I'm back with another video. Back with my 2023 NASCAR Cup Series Phoenix race review. As I said, this was a mid race, but that finish was awesome. So, before we get into the content, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. Uh, please subscribe as well. Again, uh, closing in on 800 subscribers, I'd really appreciate it. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into this. Also, make sure you use code ANJJ for $5 off on orders of $30 or more to start the diecast. And use the link down in the description below to see the vendors random fantasy picks if you have Twitter. But, with that said, let's get into this. So. Zane Smith, who is in the 38 car this week, uh, if you didn't already know, uh, Zane will be running six races in the 38 instead of Todd Gillen. Uh, Gillen has five of those races uh, with another team, and then this race with Rick Ware Racing. Uh, he's the only car to the rear due to unprotected adjustments. Drake Jr. and Logano have early contact. McLeod, BJ McLeod with early issues, uh, which would take him out of the race later. Ricky Jones Jr. kisses the wall. William Byron takes the stage one win. Larson second, Bell third, Hamwood fourth, Reddick fifth, Blaney sixth, Chastain seventh, Harvick eighth, Kozlowski ninth, and Kyle Busch in tenth. Almendinger and Ty Dillon both suffered speeding penalties. Uh, Tyler Reddick had a wheel nut fall off on pit road, but he did not leave his pit box, so no penalty. Uh, we get green flag pit stops just prior to lap 60 of stage two. Uh, and then my, we have four different speeding penalties handed out. Uh, McDowell, Kyle Busch, who also got an uncontrolled tire penalty, Eric Jones, and Austin Sindrick. Eric Almarola brings out the caution, losing his right front wheel after hitting the wall, wheel breaking off, essentially. Um, he would get a two-lap penalty, and NASCAR feeling that, um, the, I guess feeling that the wheel wasn't put on properly or whatever, it, it's, um... Brock Beard and a couple of other people mentioned it's kind of similar to Justin Haley uh, last year having having a similar incident uh, at some point. It, it's just, it sucks for Almarola, but it is what it is, unfortunately. Joey Logano and Josh Berry uh, will make contact at one point. And then Kyle Larson takes the stage to win. Byron second, Harvick third, Kozlowski fourth, Reddick fifth, Hamlin sixth, Bell seventh, Blaney eighth, Chastain ninth, let's go in tenth. Ty Gibbs gets a speeding penalty. and. It was during this portion of stage three, um, eventually Harvick would end up passing Larson uh, for the lead um, and looked to potentially have this race locked up. This was following the green flag pit stops as well because we would get those. Uh, prior to that, there was contact between Chris Buescher and Josh Berry, and then Daniel Sp uh, Suarez got back-to-back -back speeding penalties. Uh, getting one, and then getting another while serving the first one. Um, we get down around 10 laps to go. Caution comes out. Harrison Burton goes for a spin on the front stretch. Debris falling off his car with a blown right front tire, ripping the body apart. Uh, it was a very quick caution called, and the broadcast uh, made mention of that, but it was probably going to be a caution anyway because of debris from the car. So there you go. Um, Martrix Jr. gets a speeding penalty here. We get the restart with a handful of laps to go, and following the restart, coming back to the start-finish line, we get a caution for Ty Gibbs, Noah Gregson, and AJ Allmendinger. Gibbs gets, gets into the wall already in 3-4, and four, or 1-2, and two, something like that. It, it, sometimes it's hard to remember because the track got reconfigured a, hand, a couple of years ago, and they moved the freaking start-finish line to what used to be the backstretch. But anyway, um, Gregson and Allmendinger checked up in front of him. Not sure what happened, but Gibbs is day. Basically got screwed over. Uh, so we get a green-white checker restart. And we get contact between Larson and Byron. Blaney gets a run going down the backstretch into turn three. Unfortunately, could not capitalize on it for the lead. Byron ends up in the lead. And he ends up winning for the second week in a row. Back-to-back -back weeks where a late caution helped Byron win. The only real difference is last week he dominated pretty much the majority of the race and then lit some late cautions kind of shoveled him back a little bit within the top five or so and then he got it back at the very end. Today it was between him and Larson dominating the race and Byron ended up being the one to win. 
But that's just crazy, bro. Like, Byron wins back-to-back, and I did not have him winning going into the season. William, you done shut my ass up. Good on you, mate. Um, And Josh Berry, who was announced earlier this week to be running the nine car for the duration of time that uh, Chase Elliott will be out for, with the exception of Coda, where Jordan Taylor, uh, who's like a road course guy, uh, will be in it. Uh, He ends up with a top 10 in this race. Kevin Harvick's top five streak, despite not being able to win, his top five streak does survive with a fifth place finish. And again, all in all, it was an okay race. Awesome finish at the end. Of course, next week is Atlanta. That's going to be very interesting, especially now that it's been announced um, where they've moved the, uh, you know, essentially where they moved the um, entrance to pit road to, or at least where you get off to then go towards pit road. Uh, They've backed that up to like the apron entering turn three. So um, that's going to be very interesting because... How much you want to bet somebody's going to get ass packed next week? Maybe more than once. Um, if you don't know what that term means, just watch Ed Soundhead. Just saying. Uh, but with that being said, uh, congratulations, William Byron. Back-to-back wins. Uh, it took us forever to get a repeat winner last year. So um, I am kind of glad to see that we'll have, we have a repeat winner already. Um, but yeah, and another thing. Another thing. Chevy has won the first four races this year for the first time since 2001. Who was born in 2001? This guy. How? <laughs> that's crazy, man. That That's legitimately crazy. But anyway, with all that being said, once again, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.